Hi guys, a quick video tutorial in adding additional resources to your Dell all-in-one Optiplex. This is a 7780. I also the 7740 as well, which is the smaller sized uh, screen. But this one is quite resourced up. It's already got a i9 processor in here, 512 of, of uh, drive space and 32 gig of memory but what i've decided is i use it for sort of virtual machines as well for various testing purposes while it's uh, quite adequate i am getting a little bit resource hungry when i'm trying different things and rather than keep swapping swapping out i've decided to replace my um my ssd cards so i had an additional 500 gig to support things uh, i just thought i'd just carry it out and just have something a little bit bigger and took advantage of Black Friday deals. So I'm going to put in this crucial memory. So again, it's a solid state drive and there's two terabytes. So absolutely loads of space. So we'll do that. And we're also going to up the memory uh, with another stick of 32 gig. So that will take the, uh, the memory up to 64 gig, which should be adequate to run a number of machines at the same time. And, uh, and keep things ticking along nicely. Now I have done a opening box review of the Dell machines and had them side by side. Um, I meant to have got them back out in June, July. I know there's some tutorials or videos already up, so I was a little bit slow off the mark there. Uh, one feedback I have got is while these are absolutely great, um, great size and easy to upgrade, as we'll see in this demo. Um, one of the drawbacks is it does blow so the fans really kick in once the uh, resources start to go in quite loud so over time how that works i don't know but uh, that's my one um, negative about these uh, these machines but otherwise they're, they're they're absolutely fantastic so with no further ado let me just um kick this off so i'm going to try and pan in a little bit let's get this right uh, some of this will be a little bit trial and error when i get right so we'll center this in the screen zoom in so you'll see at the moment it's an easy flip on flip off for the stand but then it just gives you some simple instructions so one two three which is a case of pushing it down sliding it up so one down and it's as simple as that so i'm going to zoom back out to see what machine and it should be a case of lift off okay Okay, focus again. Okay, so from the actual machine itself, there's a couple of places you can access. Obviously, there are things scattered here, there, and everywhere. But in terms of an upgrading point of view, when people want to add some additional hard drive space or memory, it is really, really accessible. Uh, I have looked at maybe adding a uh, another stick for the for the um hard drive space so the m.2 but at the moment i'm just going to take advantage of what's there and easy to access so first of all let's look at the hard drive which is quite easy to to get at so it is in this little blue area so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move over to it and we'll center it to the screen oh let's come out a little bit more that's a bit better. So again, some simple instructions we can see here. I don't know if it shows the camera, but it's just, just to push it down and then an arrow to slide out. And this is the little paddy that holds the the uh, the hard drive. So again, let me just uh, zoom out so we've got a little bit more space to work with. So the next part of that is obviously to open up the memory and put it into the caddy and then slot it all back in. I'm going to move that. Now this bay already has the um, the little nibs that you kind of hold the drive in place. So all I simply need to do is just to line it up. I think it goes in that way. No, it doesn't. It goes in that way. So what we will do is 
drop the unleaves into those holes. We'll pull that out and pull that side out. And it's as simple as that. Next thing to do is we've got the little um, nibs again, which will slip into these holes, like so. Again, let me just zoom in. It's a case of push it in. It's very feel its way into there. No point forcing it. there we are that's how easy it is to upgrade your all-in-one very very easy a couple of little pushes and i haven't used any tools to date okay the next bit is now the memory now i was going to stretch this over two videos but i think you know what i'll just do it in one fell swoop so let's move over to the bay where the memory's held now you can see there's a little aluminium door there and on the door it says a uh, dim door. And again, just a case of licking up. And we can see there's already one piece of memory that's already there, piece of stick. Now I've got another bit of memory. So obviously it makes sense to, to match these, these up. So all I simply did is I took a look at what was already in there and uh and i've just basically replicated it so really if you've got like i don't know eight gig in there then get an eight gig or if you've got a 16 stick get a 16 six go to 32. so always marry up so ultimately there's two spaces for it now when it comes to upgrading memory you'll see lots of things you know should i wear gloves should i not wear gloves um should i wear rubber gloves uh, there's a lot of things there that can obviously burn out these drives uh, one piece of advice is to get an anti-static wristband and then have that earthed against uh, a, I suppose, a metal object. So um, these are for these options. So I would suggest that definitely take your research in doing that. Um, one thing is if you are going to do it without, then try and obviously ground yourself to a degree so you don't cause any issues with the components and the other thing i would recommend there as well obviously is try not to touch any of the metal in these sticks so i'm just going to work with the edges and again it's a case of i believe do these lift up Okay, I just wanted to just double check on the um, the manual just to make sure things are okay. But yes, I am going the wrong way, so it's a case of just pushing it in on the angle, and then when it's into there, you then push it down so it goes into place like so. So there we are. That's how we add the memory. So now we have two identical sticks of memory, all 32 gig, which will take us up to 64. And it should be a case of dropping the dim door back in, closing that up. Let's zoom back out. And then we'll put the door on so as mentioned hard drive space just a simple blue plastic caddy put it in the nibs slide it in and then in the dim door that is where we add the memory put it in on an angle and then just click it into place and then finally it's a case of adding the door sorry the um the outer casing which will be simply to push that down now there's a bit of light there. I should have closed the window um, curtain, the blinds. Apologies for that. That slots in nice and easy. And it clicks into place. 
And the final piece of the jigsaw is the stand, which will go in on an angle. Simple as that. So I'm going to pause this video while I assemble it and then we'll power it up and have a quick look. Okay, I've plugged the power into this now and I've uh, just pressed start and we've got a little onboard diagnostics that has said that um, the amount of system memory has changed. So that's the screen at the moment. I'm going to the continue BIOS setup or diagnostics. At this moment, I'm just going to click on continue, it means that was the first choice. Let's see what it comes up with. It will be interesting to see how all of this performs. Right, so first of all, let's uh, let's do a quick look at the device manager and see what gets picked up. Right, so first of all, I'm going to go into the memory. Actually, it's going to the disk drive there. We've just picked up there, found another drive there, which is great. And then I just want to Check the memory, one second. Okay, I can see that the drive is there, but at this moment in time, I have to just check because I'm still looking for the E, which was the drive I had in before. I've got some objects I need to move over onto there, which is fine. Um, if I right click and go to Task Manager, then I can see there it's showing a 64 gig memory, so that's tough, which is great. So. I'm going to stop the video now. Uh, hopefully, it shows you how to install the things. I'm just going to run a quick date update in a moment once I've switched those drives over and got the stuff off my old drive so I can just reconfigure in showing you what the, um, the additional drive space looks like on the machine. Okay, apologies for the delay there. Um, as we know, I have upgraded the resources on this machine. So if I right click on there and go to Task Manager, you will see, if I move this box over, you will see that the memory has been upgraded. We have 64 gigabytes of memory now from the 32 it had previously, which is great news. Um, I had a bit of confusion, obviously I mentioned I had the solid state drive in there before and I've swapped out and uh, there's a couple of things that I didn't take into account such as the uh, I've got stuff with my uh, my cloud drive right down into there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I was going to swap out, do a bit of a copy, blah blah blah. But then I remembered that I have a little um, extension that I can plug in by USB, which is what I've done with that stick. So now it can see that as the E drive, uh, which is down there, and all it needs me to do now is the drive that I put in with the two gig. I just need to set up so the machine can see that and we can do that by going to disk manager and we can see create and format hard drive partitions. Okay so first of all you can see the disk is here, there's a disk zero unknown and it does say we need to initialize the disk before disk manager can access it and we've got a couple of options there the master boot record or a partition table. So I'm just going to select the second, GPT, click on OK. Great stuff. And we've got the machine here. 
uh, sorry, these drive here, and I can see all this unallocated space. So what I'm going to do is I think if I right click on there and create a new simple volume and just go through the wizard and see those um, spaces all match up. I'm not going to partition this, this is just going to be for all of my virtual machines and I'll just um, sort of separate things by, by a folder structure. Okay, I need to assign a letter. I've got so I've got E already allocated, so we'll just use F. Uh, I'm not too concerned about what they're going to look like, etc. And so we'll click OK. Next, uh, format the volume so it's in NTFS. Uh, volume label, uh, we'll call it data as well, I think. I think I should be able to do that. And click Format, click on Next. All looks good. Click on finish. It's going through the format process. That's completed. And now I can see that on my machine. So if I expand, and here's the new drive. Plenty of space there to, to utilize. So my plan is I'm going to be grabbing a load of stuff from here. And I will be moving it over into the F drive. So I hope this tutorial was useful. Uh, I, granted, it's a little bit clunky here and there, but I just want to keep them as sort of real as possible. I don't want them to be over polished, but hopefully it gave you enough to show you how easy it is to open the back of these all in ones. And in terms of the immediate upgrades, which people typically look for, i.e. upgrading the memory, upgrading the hard drive, so you've got some extra space. Hopefully it showed you how easy it was. And more importantly, I haven't used a single tool in the process. I uh, hope that's been useful for you. Thank you for watching. And if there's any more uh, sort of videos or tutorials you'd like to uh, see, then please uh, drop me a line in the comments. I'll also put in the notes as well uh, some reference links to the two things that I've actually purchased. Uh, so you can go straight to those should you want to buy some additional memory or hard drive space for your machines. Thank you for watching.